Julia Aspinall established Genetic Gains in 1995. A passion for breeding technology led her to set up the company with the aim of improving New Zealand's sheep industry. At the beginning of 2011, Julia developed a data logger. It's a handheld data collection device designed for breeders. Julia tells us about this and the business of semen collection. There's three parts to our business. The first being the Sheep Improvement Limited Sewer Bureau. So through that, we're helping them identify the animals with the best genetics for production traits. And then through the AB Centre here, we can collect semen from their top rams and then distribute that throughout New Zealand or throughout the world or wherever it's required. And through our AI and embryo transfer services, we're then helping them use those genetics. So it's a complete genetics package for sheep breeders. Back in 2001, when Genetic Gains took over the local Sheep Improvement Limited Bureau, I was horrified to find that most of our breeder clients were still using pen and paper to record all their valuable stud records. Even in 2001, when the age of technology is loud and proud, the stud breeders were just not adopting it. And so we, I went in search of a very robust handheld unit that they could enter their data directly into, specifically in the lambing paddock. We then hired the services of a software developer in Dunedin, Craig McKenzie, and he wrote a program for us which is specifically designed to collect information that is used by the SIL Recording Bureau. Each evening the unit needs to sit in this what's called a docking cradle because it charges the rechargeable battery. While it's in there, breeders can make selections, push a button which transfers the data to a memory stick in the back. Right now we're on the AB Centre. So before rams can come onto here, they need to pass a whole series of health tests. They have to be tested for Brucella ovis for yonis and for hairy shaker and they need to have a physical inspection by a vet. The reason for that is that this is a biosecurity approved collection centre for export. The ewes in the background are ovary ectomised ewes, so they're here for the purposes of being teaser ewes. So we can program them to have at least one on heat every day as we're collecting so that the rams are more likely to work for us. Well, this guy here is our star ram at the moment. We need to get at least a thousand straws off him this season because he's been chosen to be what's called a link sire. In other words, available for use on three different AI sites across several years in the future to provide an environmental levelling platform for year-to-year -year and farm-to-farm. -farm. He's a very top-performing Coopworth ram. He was ranked very highly about two years ago on the National New Zealand Coopworth lists. He was exceptionally good for meat and very, very lean. In an average collect, we may only manage about 30 straws, although we collect from the same ram three times in a day and then rest him for a couple of days before we collect again. So we may get up to 70 or 100 within a day. These particular straws will be stored in our storage location just here until they're required. Some will be used this year and some will be used in future years. Peter Christie runs a Perindale stud. He's been working with Julia and the Perindale Society in order to improve the breed. The Perindale Society is fortunate that they've actually employed Julia to do their cross flock analysis. And within that, there's rams that are good looking and, and performing. And, and, and that ultimately is where I can see a good role for, for my stud. The central progeny trial, that's something that was set up using research sheep base flock of Coopworths and then invited the breeders, breed societies, groups to contribute their best rams and they've bred up since then. It's followed through the meatworks because the progeny's killed and to see how they yield 
it's done a lot on SIL data and still a sponsor and they, their data comes through in it. But it's a contribution to compare your breed or your sheep with other breeds. So that there's linkages which is done through that in the three centres that, that they um, run the trials from in different environments. <coughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.